Hi Oslo users, we wanted to show kind of an interesting or neat little graphics example and in the process of uh, developing for this video found a couple other interesting things to show. So in this video I'm actually going to show the graphics example, how to modify it, but we'll also see how to go from a .ccx to a .ccl, so to go from a, a file being developed to a file that you actually want the compiler to compile in our private CCL uh, directory. And in the process of doing that, we're going to run into a specific kind of compiling problem. So uh, there's some things to learn in addition to uh, seeing the graphics video and the fun. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to compile CCL. You see everything compiles just fine now. If I go to uh, this, my uh, private CCL directory, if you see here I've got a number of different CCL and I have this .ccx. So this piece of code here, the spiral draw, is not being compiled. So let's have a look at it. <clears throat> so I've opened it up in the notepad. And if we look here, we have a number of different parameters and we define a window and we open the graphics window when we move the cursor around and we draw inside of that window. And if you want to, you can certainly uh, look up a lot of the commands that we have here in this uh, in this file. So this is uh, the file as a .ccx. So I go ahead and I close it for the moment because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the extension. And I'm going to change the extension from a CCX to now to a CCL. It's not case sensitive. Now it asks me it might become unstable, but it, uh, it's no problem here. .ccl and .ccx uh, are interchangeable. So that's no problem for the Windows warning. Now I go here to compile and look, oh no, I have some sort of conflict. And uh, this one may be a little bit tough to understand if you haven't done a lot of programming, but I'll explain it here. When the program comes to do the compiling, and it does it here inside of private CCL, it compiles each one of these in sequence. But there is a difference between C and CCL when it actually goes and does this. And the difference is, let me pull the help back up, the difference is in CCL, once an argument is declared, its name and type is known globally. So if an argument int count is declared in the argument list for a given procedure, you cannot declare it with a different type in another procedure. So this ends up being a problem here because I love this particular um, little parameter called endpoints or NPTS. And I do use it a lot when I have different graphics protocols. This piece of code, though, that I pulled in was not written by me. This was actually written by someone else, and they happened to use this endpoints in a different way than I use it. So let's have a look at uh, what the conflict is. So now if we open Spiral Draw, and I'm just going to right click and open with my Notepad++. Plus plus. And I'm going to right click on this Telesync calc. Now the Telesync calc is actually where the conflict happened and that's because in the directory it is compiled after spiral draw. But Telesync calc follows the protocol I normally use so I want to change spiral draw. And if you look here we have double endpoints. It's not case sensitive. When we look at spiral draw in this case endpoints is an integer. So it, when it's compiling, it sees this as an integer. And when it runs across my code I've written later, it says, oh, you've defined it as a double. That is not allowed. That variable has already been defined elsewhere. It's a little bit odd if you've done some other programming that it does this. But if you ever run into this, this is how you go about finding what the problem is. So the way to fix this, the easiest way to fix this, is we go into spiral draw. And we just change the name of endpoints to something else. And so I'm changing it to endpoints draw. Now you can do a search and replace and that sort of thing. I just happen to know that this variable exists in two places here. So there is the first one. And actually, that's the second one. The first one is inside of this loop de declaration. So I just changed this to endpoints draw. Now I save it and I go here to run, uh, compile and if you see now we're compiling so now we can go ahead 
and run this code. So that is the conflict and that shows a little bit how to modify and a little bit about the graphics example. So a lot has been achieved of what we want to do here. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to show what this thing does. So we do draw a spiral and I've picked 2000 points for it and you can see it draws a uh, sort of a, a, a spiral pattern coming out from the origin and it goes in this counterclockwise direction and it changes the pen color. So let's say I don't really like this idea of the pen color changing. I could change the, the uh, particular command itself and allow myself to turn on and off changing the pen color. So if I look in here, I've got this command pen and pen also tracks as we are changing this variable IC inside of the for loop. Now if you want to really know what pen does you could certainly look it up in the help directory but here in this case I'm actually going to simply comment it out. So two slashes will comment that out. I save it. I compile. Now if I were to run this it's actually this uh, code for writing the spiral doesn't have a graphics clearing command in it so if I put it in this exact same window, it's just going to overwrite that previous data. You can right click to clear the window or you can use this handy command called GCL which clears the active graphics window. So I go ahead and do that. Now I go and I plot 2000 and you see now it's black and white. Let's say I want to put 4000 over that. It will actually not clear it if I do that and you see I end up with kind of a messier looking pattern there I can clear and go back here so that's showing how I've actually gone about uh, changing this particular CCL file to do something a little bit different so I hope you've enjoyed this video something a little bit fun but does show an important CCL compiling error